hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is Nitesh here and in this video I'm gonna talk about the Microsoft fabric architecture but before proceeding with this video I would recommend each one of you to go and watch my previous session because this session is linked to my previous session only and that will give you know better understanding also so with that said let's get to start with the Microsoft fabric architecture so guys in my previous session I told about the Microsoft fabric con component which were the data factory data sign of data engineering data science data warehousing real-time intelligence power bi and data activator activator right but and and these components you know uh, plays very vital role uh, in the microsoft fabric architecture because in microsoft fabric uh, you know whatever the application we create we create with these application with uh, with these components only okay and these components uses the compute and that compute is nothing but your serverless compute okay now let's understand what is the serverless compute okay so so serverless compute uh, allow us to run uh, our application uh, uh, as an on-demand basis because in case of the serverless compute we doesn't have to manage any kind of infrastructure we do not require any kind of you know, additional resources to run uh, run uh, run our application so so uh, all the components uses the serverless compute in case of microsoft fabric example for uh, spark so spark is basically used for the data transformation right so uh, in this part with the help of spark you can create the notebook right and you can write your transformation logic and that spark will use the serverless compute to do the data transformation right and uh, if i just talk about the uh, sign of data warehouse then we have the uh, tsql right so you can write your tsql logic and that tsql, TSQL logic will use the serverless compute uh, to run your uh, application right and in the similar way let's say if you use the um, real-time data right so real-time data gets stored in the costo db and to get the data from costo db we uses the kql right and that qql uses the serverless compute uh, for running the query right and um, let's say if i uh, example for if i uses the power bi then the uh, we have the analysis service services available right uh, which is uh, basically used for doing the data modeling uh, and relationship in the power bi right and uh, uh, this analysis services use also uses the serverless compute for for, for you know um, doing the uh, all the analysis work in power bi right so 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 these are the components in the architecture and this is the compute that microsoft fabric uses right or microsoft fabric component basically uses but now let's talk about the storage right so we have the components we have the compute but where the where these components basically stores the data so these component stores the data in in the one leg so in microsoft fabric we have a concept of one leg which is built on top of the um, um, azure data lake gen 2 right so all the data which is gonna be stored in microsoft fabric it will be stored centrally and that central part is nothing but your one leg okay uh, let's understand that centrally part you know bit more so let's say um, we created uh, the warehouse right and we will store the data in the warehouse and that data basically will store in the one leg and let's say we are dealing with the real-time data let's say we are storing the real-time data also which is uh, which is through the kql db right so the kql db also will get stored uh, will, will store the data in the one lake only right so every component is gonna store the data is one lake only so that is why microsoft fabric has only one place to store the data which is called one lake. so now we are we hope we are clear from the component point of view like how the components are essential from the uh, architecture point of view and how the component uses the compute right what is the serverless compute and uh, 
where the data these component is stored in the fabric that also is kind of you know clear now additional part uh, in the one lake you know uh, microsoft fabric supports the packet format storage of the data right uh, which we know uh, already that it is the uh, very fastest way to uh, retrieve the data or you know the better way to store the data as well right so this is all from the architecture point of view of the microsoft fabric hope this is clear right in the next session uh, uh, you know we will uh, take a look on the uh, the practical part a uh, bit uh, because uh, uh, practical part uh, uh, where we will take a look on you know how to enable the uh, microsoft fabric okay um, because we have we need to enable the microsoft fabric before starting with it right and and we enable the microsoft fabric in the power bi okay so how to do that we will see in our next session so thank you guys thank you for watching this video and if you really like this video please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the updated uh, videos notification thank you bye bye